Good morning, cowboy. It's afternoon, Dad. After what? Ooh. Man, that light is bright off the water, isn't it? You wanted to see me? Did I? Yeah, you did. Something happened last night? A single moth scotch. I thought it was really humid and hot last night. I didn't sleep well. Uh, it's kind of a blur. You were fine when Elizabeth and I left the Haunted Star. And the two minutes where you were trying to hustle me is one of the best conversations we've had in years. So tell me, Dad, what, uh, what was it this time that made you dive headfirst into a bottle? Did Mom call you last night? No, why would she? No reason. Just trying to figure out what would send you off to get drunk. Did you talk to her? Yeah. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. I called her. Oh. Why? No reason. I just, uh, wanted to let her know how Elizabeth and I were doing. What'd she say? That's between her and I, Dad. Do you have any doubts about getting remarried? I don't have any doubts about remarrying Elizabeth, Dad. It's best for both of us and the kids. So the fact is she had an affair with Jason and that Jay can try to pass him off as your son doesn't bother you. You don't have any residual disappointments or angers. You don't have... Is this really a conversation you want to have? Given Ethan's unexpected arrival into our lives? Hey, don't do that. Don't take this off track. This is not about me. 20 years and change ago. This is about you and Elizabeth today. Now, are you being honest with each other? Just to declare that you trust her and ignore any instinct that you have to the contrary is setting both of you up for failure. That's what trust is, Dad. It's trust. There's no way around it. And I trust Elizabeth, okay? She just doesn't trust herself because of what happened with Jake. She's judging herself, just like you're doing. Ooh. I'm not judging her nuts. No, that's not it. I just, uh, I just don't want to see you get your heart broken. Dad, you know what? I don't care what you think you're doing. I really don't care. Go home. Get some sleep. Let me find my own way. Do the two of you even want the same things? What does that even mean, huh? We want a family, Dad. A family. And just so you know, it's fine by me that Cam and Jake don't share my DNA. It's not always something to brag about. Those boys are my sons. And they're perfect just the way they are. Well. Okay. I guess you told me. Yeah, I guess I did. What's up? You waiting for the launch? Or? No, I'm just kicking myself for even attempting to talk to my father. Oh, are you guys fighting again? Uh, why are we not? He asked to see me, and then he showed up an hour late. So hungover, he could barely stand. I know how you feel about that. No, that's not what made me mad. I mean, sure, it's not fun having a dad who's a drunk, but I mean, I'm not going to be the one to try to fix him. I'm going to those meetings myself, trying to work on letting it go. I 
just hate when he tries to give me advice. He pulls out these insights and philosophies that are just nonsense, just three-quarters self-serving garbage. Norm. The problem is the one quarter that's not about justifying his own crap. That part's usually dead on. It pisses me off because no matter how far apart we get or how much we disagree, the bastard still knows me better than anyone. Dad started in on Cam and Jake, specifically Jake, how I must be carrying some lingering resentment or distrust because Elizabeth lied and told me I was Jake's biological father. Well, you know, most, most men would to find out that their wife had been with another man. Yeah, but it's more than that. Elizabeth lied in part because she thought the truth would compromise my recovery. So yes, she failed me, but I failed her first. And now what I want more than anything is to just let it be over. You know, I, I forgave Elizabeth. I just wish she could forgive herself. I don't know why I'm telling you this anyway. It's between me and her. Look, listen, if you're if you're having sec second thoughts about marrying her, maybe maybe you should look into. I've been talking to my dad. Oh, what, did the two of you get drunk together last night? I'm not having second thoughts, Nicholas. I'm just saying I need to be patient. I just need to give Elizabeth the time she needs to trust herself. Well, I I know that she loves you, Lucky, and it would would kill her to hurt you again. But do you think there's some, some things that she may not be telling you?